Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Bay Area Maker Fair 2019. Now here with Aaron and Sammy of formerly CNC router parts. We've seen your products before, use them, love them, but you guys have a, a new name now. Aaron, what's up? Well, that's right. Uh, we've been CNC router parts for a long time, but uh, about five or six years ago, we started selling more than just parts. We started selling complete solutions and uh, Really, we felt like a, a name that reflected our excitement about CNC and the fact that we can get people into it was more appropriate for our company. So here we are as Avid CNC. Avid CNC. Now we've put together one of your big routers and also plasma cutters over down at Frank's shop. And you, right. you guys, I love you, your presence at Maker Faire because you always have a cool project to show off the capabilities. Sammy, what is it you're holding here? This is our ping pong ball crossbow mechanism and it illustrates a lot of the different types of machining that we do here. We have uh, the front bow which was plasma cut and we have a couple different aluminum inserts here that were also routed and it's the body also shows off our new fourth axis rotary attachment. So that's a new thing this year. There's a, a whole fourth axis. Uh, is it installed? Yes, right there. Tell me how this works, Aaron. All right, so the fourth axis system is a 10 to 1 planetary reducer coupled to a four jaw self-centering chuck. And effectively what it lets you do is hold parts and machine them from multiple different sides. So you can do continuous ro rotation and cutting, but you can also index and cut parts from different sides, which you can do without a rotary system, but it's painful and clunky because you have to keep flipping parts and you know, refining them, whereas the rotary can just hold them and let you keep going. Is this something that works as an add-on for existing customers They can buy and add it on to their, their existing CNC? Yeah, absolutely, it's, uh, it's intended to be compatible with both our benchtop lines and our Pro Series machines. And how's that mounted on? So we have a couple different configurations where we can mount the rotary system. You can mount it lengthwise on the bed and just on top of it. So for customers who, don't, who use it occasionally and are doing smaller work pieces, that might make sense. Uh, it's also designed so it can be recessed in the bed of the machine. And that's nice because you can get larger work pieces in there and underneath the gantry. One of the things that really impressed us as we put together the, the three axis, um, the, the big three axis, one how big it, it was scaled up to you, right? The big gantry fits full, you know, four by eight sheets, um, but also how rock solid the, the, just the design of it was. How much engineering goes into developing another axis and, and, and experiment iterating to get it working to your standards. Yeah, there's been a significant amount of effort that's gone into making this the robust system that we really wanted it to be. Uh, we've had customers do third-party add-ons, rotary systems in the past, but they're really not strong enough to hold the part well or to resist the cutting loads that we really want to be able to put on pieces. We're routing solid maple on this, taking quarter-inch passes at about 400 inches a minute. So to be able to withstand those sorts of cutting loads, we needed a really robust mechanism. So our engineering team has put in a lot of time to making it that way. Your customers are making all sorts of things, all sorts of different fabrication. What, what, what are the things that you recommend for this class of system? What are the materials and what, what type of things are your customers building? So we've got customers, this is really intended for you know, objects that uh, have a lot of sculptural aspects to them. So it's great for plastic and wood and foam for people doing props and things like that. Uh, so I'm sure the tested crew is going to be interested in that. Uh, it's also possible to cut metal on this um, or to put a, a part in it that just needs to have holes punched in it from multiple sides. We have a lot of customers wanting to just do some one-off applications like that. So if it can fit in the rotary system, it's probably a good application for it. Is it available now or is it shipping soon? We're taking pre-sales now. Um, we have quite a list of people who've been asking this for a long time. Uh, so we're servicing that group first, um, but then yeah, contact us if you want one and we'll be able to get one to you soon, probably in a month or, month or two months at the latest. Very cool, it's great to see you both here at Maker Faire 9. We can't end this without a demonstration of this launcher. Can we get one, Sammy? That is so cool. Great to see you both. Have a great Maker Faire. Yeah, thank you.